Hi, I've been given the job of showing you how quick and easy our new product Paxlock is to install. Um, I've got the door here, uh, this has been pre-drilled, so I'm not known for my DIY skills, so somebody that's allowed to use a drill has actually drilled the three holes that are required for Paxlock and we've also got um, the uh, a standard Euro lock case installed onto this door as well uh, with a key override. You don't have to have the key override, there are, are versions with and without. Um, so I've taken the bits out of the box um, and I've got my tools required, so a screwdriver and an Allen key. So let's go. Right, this is the bit that goes on the outside, so this is a proximity reader and the control unit and the PIR sensor and things. Uh, the first job to do is locate the shaft, so this is quite good actually. Um, there's a locating pin here and you just squeeze that down and then that locates there and it's got quite a lot of movement so if your holes in there, your drill holes aren't exactly aligned it's quite forgiving. So pop this on, uh, this bunch of wires just feeds through the door. So, see that? Squeeze it on like that, and that pops through there, like that. Okay, okay, that's that bit. Uh, so now I can put the handle on uh, the outside of the door. So handle just secures with a, a grub screw. Um, just open that out a little bit. Hi. Member of the public. Okay, so that's that one there. Um, and then this is the back of the unit, obviously. This goes on here. The, the wiring uh, sort of feeds through this little hole here, and then that just slides on. Uh, this is a nice little connector here to connect the wiring. It's actually at a right angle, so it fits fits on really easily. There we go. You can put a door contact on there as well if you want, but that's pretty much that. Uh, right, two screws here and a screwdriver. I know what to do with these. Uh, these just feed through and locate into the other side. One of my comments from the first time of installing this is we need a chamfer on the other side because I was faffing about for a bit trying to locate this screw on the other side. Again, this just locates and screws on tight as you like. Okay, good job. Right, batteries. So, double A batteries give you, well, depending on usage, two or three years' life. Um, so, they just pop on there. Very easy to replace. Um, they're on the inside of the door, and you just, it's actually a job that the uh, customer can do, just pop the, the cover off and uh, uh, replace the batteries. So now the cover can go on, like that, it's actually the other way, right? that's that way. Good, slides on like that. And then the cover's kept on by the handle, which again, just use the Allen key to it up. Stop the clock. Okay, there we go. So 
that's the unit fully installed and ready to uh, set up from the Net2 software. It's really robust um, feeling product. We've actually got these testing on uh, half a million cycles in our workshop downstairs and they're, they're really, really robust products. Um, there's, in normal operation, you would just take a proximity card and you would come up to the door, present your proximity card, and then obviously be allowed access if you were permitted access to that door. Um, there's a, on this product, there's actually a low power mode. There's a button on the front here, and instead of automatically detecting your proximity token, you press the button first and then it detects your proximity token. Um, and that saves a lot of energy. Um, it also, uh, low power mode, reduces the frequency of communicating to the Net2 server, um, which again saves a lot of, uh, a lot of power, um, which has the result of basically um, extending your battery life um, uh, by quite a lot. So there we are, finished product. Um, time to collect my fee.